Hi everybody. Oh my gosh, what a day. So much going on in the Sailor household. But I am on today for a special treat. Yesterday, I put a post out on the page which said, challenge. What printable activity can I create for you and your kids today? If I pick your idea, you get it free. Um, cute is my specialty. I can do any age activity from preschool to high school. Well, I'm here to reveal the first thing that I created. So Holly Bade had said something with the nativity story, age appropriate for six and 12. <laughs> so excited about this craft because it's easy. Now I have it available in two ways, independent or in my advent activity bundle. So I'll show you at least the independent activity. Forgive the shake. I'd tell you to forgive the mess, but we're gonna ignore that I'm standing in a mess and that I played with nativity activities rather than cleaning today, right? Because you're not going to judge me. So let me show you the end result. So what it is, is it is telling the nativity story in storybook fashion. And then, so it's eight days of activities. And each day you tell a piece of the nativity story. And then you do a very simple craft. And the whole idea is that we want to teach our kids that we are all innkeepers that have to decide if we have room for Jesus in our own heart. Okay, so we're all innkeepers. So as we're telling pieces of the story, each day the kids have a unique craft that they're gonna create. They're gonna create these door hangers that then they get to add around the house. Hey Gail, they get to add around the house as they are learning the nativity. So I need to go back and forth. So. I'm going to show you how it works, but it's going to end up it's this door hanger advent activity pack. So let me show you what's in it and how you actually just do the little craft. So forgive the jitters because I'm going to try to put you on my magic tripod setup so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So forgive me for a second. I'm going to show kind of my table and don't get dizzy. Just kind of close your eyes for a second. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so... The idea with this craft is to really get into the kids' hearts that we're all innkeepers. And every single one of us has to decide whether or not we invite Jesus into our hearts. And so every single day, they will have a different door hanger activity that has day one and it has the piece of scripture that you read with your child. And then you cut out the door hanger, you laminate it, don't panic, I'm gonna show you how easy that is. And then the kids get to decide where they hang it on the door. And so let me show you how easy this is. So here is, and I made them um, with different skin tones. So that if your kids live in Washington State and they never see the sun, then they can have their no tan skin and if they have been born with beautiful darker skin they have that ability too so all they do is after you've done your story reading is you would cut out now don't judge my cutting skills while I'm on camera so you cut out the door hanger dun, dun, dun. isn't this cute Holly I am so glad that you asked me to do this and I did already send you your free copy um, I did amend it a little bit, so make sure you log back in. Because uh, there, I when I was able to get my printer up and running, um, I had to fix something. So I did fix it, and now it's ready for you. So you cut out the door hanger part, and if you look real quick, there's these little dotted lines. So you cut that part, cut around in a circle to cut the door hanger part out. Oh my gosh, these are so thick and cute. Okay, so you cut these out. And then let me show you what I use. If you go to the hardware store, now you may be blessed to have a laminator, but if it's a clear laminate so that you can laminate anything and everything. And a roll like this, which has, oh, it's 30 feet 
long. This was only like 10 bucks. So for me, this is a cost effective way to laminate. So what I did was I cut out a piece of laminate that was the size of the door hanger. And let me show you how easy this is. So you just peel back the corner. Dun, dun, dun. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So you peel this back. And I can't do it because I can't see because my glasses aren't functioning. I promise you this is super easy, but it's easier when you're not live on Facebook. So once you get this peeled, hmm, this is reminding me of the Tesla truck demonstration. Okay, so this stuff just peels off and then it'll lay flat. And then you just put whatever you want to laminate, right? It doesn't matter if you go right side up or upside down. Just lay it right on the laminate. Then you take another piece, same size, and you're only going to peel off some of it. So you're going to peel it back and kind of fold the paper back. Watch how easy this is, guys. I promise you. So you peel it like this, and then you're just going to carefully lay it on top. This is very satisfying, ready? And then you grab this and you slowly peel and kind of press it down as you go. Super easy, super great. And then you wanna take your fingernail and you just kind of smooth it out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it. Now, if you can see, there's a little air bubble in between the paper and the laminate. So you don't want to cut right up against the paper. You want to give it a little bit of an edge just on the outside of that air bubble. Super cute. So every day your kids will have heard a piece of the Bible story, true story about Jesus's birth. So exciting, favorite time of year. And then what they get to do, because remember, the whole point of the lesson is that we are all innkeepers that need to decide if we have room for Jesus. So as you are telling the story each and every day, they're reminded that, hey, I have room for Jesus in my heart. So then all they do is take their door hanger from story time and then they go hang it on the door throughout the house. So by the end of the week, what you end up having is you have, um, where are we? Is this day one? So day one is when Jesus' birth is announced to Mary. Day two is when she responds. And again, they're both light and dark skin. Day three is when they are counted, when Joseph and Mary go uh, to Nazareth, or to the city of David to be counted. Again, light and dark skin, super cute. And then you go through the, the story of his birth every day. So where he's born in a manger, where the angels talk to shepherds and say, dude, I've got the best news for you ever. So cool. Uh, the three wise dudes come to give him all kinds of stuff. <laughs> hey, your kids are going to love this. Um, and then the whole assembly, the angels praising God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill towards men, super, super exciting. Day eight is when you really pause and you really make sure that they got this point, that they are an innkeeper and that they get to choose to invite Jesus in. So this is a door hanger that lets them hang it on their bedroom that says, I am an innkeeper who makes room for Jesus. Isn't that sweet? Oh my gosh, so exciting. And then there's just some fun ones. Jesus, I have room for you. I made room for Jesus. So obviously they would trace their letters and then cut that one out. There are the We Are All Innkeepers. <laughs> they can color their own if they like to color. My boys never really loved to color. Actually, only one of them did. Isn't that cute? And then there is in here, if you saw, there's a little foldable that it looks like this. Uh, all undone. So the foldable will look like this. And what you do is you fold it in half down into 
quadrants like this. Then you'll open it up. But this one's already cut and prepared, but there'll be a red line right here that says cut here. So what you'll do is you'll fold your paper in half and you'll cut it right here. And so what you end up with is a piece of paper that has a hole in the middle and you'll fold it in half. So it has the little mouth and you pinch it together and then fold the pages back. And then they have their own little handy dandy book that they have a reminder about the story of Jesus's birth. So they can talk to their friends or to each other or just read to themselves that Christ's birth was announced to Mary by an angel, that Mary responded with a yes, that Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem to be counted in the census, that there there was no room in the inn and Jesus was born in a manger, that out in the fields the shepherds um, got to hear the good news from the angels. I love that the poorest of poor were the first to hear that Jesus was born. I love that. And then the wise men came to worship Jesus. And then suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Isn't that cute? Okay, let me undo this. Dun, dun, dun. Ouch. Okay, I almost got my fingernail off with that one, but isn't that cute? So, Holly, I hope you enjoy yours. I hope that your kids enjoy it. I would love to see pictures of door hangers all over. And for everybody else, you can get a copy of the door hangers, and it's that easy to do. So you don't have to prep everything all at once. And then um, it's also included in my Advent activity pack too. So I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to go back and add the links to those things. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you soon. Bye.